if your daughter is doing something wrong, right, and you punish her, what she got to do to start getting punished? She, exactly. She, that's a good word. Behave. We got to behave ourselves as a, as a race of people because we don't. We fornicate. We steal. We murder one another, right? We, we sell drugs to one another. We, we own drugs, get high, drunk all the time. We, we are, as a race of people, that's what we're known for. That's what, that's what we are known for. But we are here to fix the communities, to teach them the laws of God. Do you understand that you're Israelite now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some of the signs that you're Israelite? I gotta, I gotta make sure you know. <laughs> um, um, you put me on the spot. <laughs> Read verse 68 one more time. So remember, whatever race of people aligns with the scriptures, that's how we know that they are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse six, uh, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Nationality. My sister right here, what's your name? Bree. Bree? I'll, my name is Obel. You can call me E. All right. So what we're going over is how we know that we are the biblical Israelites or the real Jews according to the Bible. So we're going to read a curse that God said would happen to the Israelites if they did not if they did not obey God's commandments. I want you to tell me what race of people it fits. All right. Read what you got. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Exodus 20 and 2. Let's find out what Egypt means. Anybody know what Israel was doing in Egypt the first time? Were they ruling or were they in uh, servitude? It was in servitude, right? Let my people go. Remember Moses, he was saying, let my people go. So remember, if God says, if you don't listen, if you don't listen to my commandments, you're going to go back into Egypt. What do you think the Israelites were, were thinking? If, for example, we were, we were brought over here in slavery, slavery in America, right? If someone told us, we got over there to Australia or something, and someone says, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to send you right back to America. And this is like the 1800s. What do you think is going on in our head? We're going to be like, dang, I'm about to go back into slavery, right? Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for bondage or slavery. So when we go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Egypt or what's another word for Egypt? Bondage, Bondage or slavery So the Most High told the Israelites You're going to go back into slavery again What race of people went into slavery, my sister? So called African Americans But it was the, uh, Deuteronomy, the Bible Is addressed to the Israelites So what does that make us? He told the Israelites, you would go back into slavery on slave ships. He told the Jews, you would go back into slavery on, the sl on slave ships. So what does that make us? My brother, you understand? You understand what we're getting at? So what's your nationality? Judah. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That is correct. Make sure you read over that fly. We have a school, all right? So, my sister, you get what I'm saying? Only we fit the prophecies in the Bible. Read on. Again, with ships. How do we get over here? Was it by uh, uh, airplane, bike? How we get? How we got over here? Ships, right? Most I said, if you don't listen to my commandments, my laws, you're gonna go back into slavery again with ships. That happened to our people, only our people. That's how we know that we are the Israelites. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. Those people over there in Israel, they are not the real Jews. Right. If you are a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you are an Israelite, a Jew according to the Bible. That's right. right. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Meaning exactly how he said it's going to happen is how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And we wouldn't go back. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So once we got over here, what happened to us? Did we just run off and do whatever we want once, once we got off the slave ships? What happened to us, you know? So we were sold on auction blocks. This is like, you've you seen pictures of us, uh, uh, on a, on, a, on, a, on a stand, white man selling us so on and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? We were sold on auction blocks. But the Bible actually says that. You know what that means? I mean, the Bible is actually a black history book. It's an Israelite or a Jew history book, right? We are the real Jews. It is our history book. Read. 
and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men. We we're going to be sold to the so-called white man for slave men and bond women and slave women. That is what the Bible prophesied would happen to our people if we did not obey God's commandments. And that's what happened to our people, read. And no man shall buy you. And when it says no man, it just said we be sold, right? When it says no man shall buy you, traditionally in biblical times when someone was sold, you would be able to buy them back. Like your brother would be able to see it. And I know that dude, I'm going to buy him back. You understand what I'm saying? But no one could redeem us out of this situation, out of slavery, right? Um, give me verse about sons and daughters. We're going to read one more curse. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So the Most High said, if we didn't obey his commandments, our sons and our daughters would be given to another people. That happened during slavery, and it still happens today. What's that service called? If you ain't doing right, they can just come and take your, they can just come and DSS. take your, uh, yeah, yeah, they can just come and take your kid. And a lot of times, the, the so-called, our enemies hide behind the system. They hide behind the system. The system is set up where they can legally oppress a people and get away with it, right? right? So they can, they can come into the house for any reason, say ain't enough water in the house, anything crazy, and just take the child, if they really wanted to. But that's a curse that God said would happen if we did not obey his commandments, read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. With what? All the day long. Our eyes will look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Meaning, we will see our children being taken and there's nothing we could do about it. Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. We have, as a people, we have no political might. We have no military might. We, we Right now, we don't even have any spiritual might because we've disconnected from our God. But we're trying to get our people back to that. So do you understand that only we fit the prophecies that were said to happen to the Israelites in the Bible? So now that you know that, what's your what's your nationality? If this is said to only happen to the Israelites in the Bible, who are you? You are a Jew, not Jewish, not Jewish. Because if, if I say I'm gonna be, if I say I'm gonna be over there five o'clock ish, what that mean? I mean I ain't gonna be over there at five. I can guarantee you that. I'm I'm be I'm be over there somewhere around five, and, and black people time might be five forty-five, six o'clock. You understand what I'm saying? But point being, Jewish means pertaining to or something like. They are not the real Jews. Even in the name, they are not the real Jews. They're Jewish. That's right. <laughs> I'm about to say something else. But you are the real Jews. You are the real Jew. Understand that, sis. Uh, where was it? Where was that? Uh, Did we finish that? Yes, sir. All right. So now we're gonna get our Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So you understand that you're an, you are a Jew. You understand it. All praises. No one, you're not black, you're not African American, not colored, your daughter's not black, African American, colored. They are, they, we are the real Jews according to the Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. So once we, once we know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the real Jews according to the Bible, God says there's a requirement. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So now you should be wondering, now that I understand I'm an Israelite, I'm a Jew, I am royalty, what does God require of me? Right, read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now we hear that a lot in the Christian church. Fear him, walk with him, walk, all that good stuff, right? But what does that really mean? Read on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. You see that, sis? You see what God requires of us? To keep his commandments. Let me do that. Let me chapter 28 and verse 1. God requires us to keep his commandments. That is the reason why we got brought to this lower state. But there was two sides of it. God said if we disobeyed, curses would happen. And if we obeyed, blessings would happen. Right? Don't you want the blessings? Because we're cursed right now. You look around, we got trash everywhere, we got drug dealers, people own drugs. You know what I'm saying? This is not how we were meant to be. We were meant to be royalty, right? Read what you got, Deuteronomy 28 and 1, and then get Deuteronomy 76. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, and thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the other side of the coin. We, we went to the left. We were supposed to keep God's commandments, and we didn't, so we got cursed. But if we do keep God's commandments, read on. 
to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. God said we will be set on high above every single nation. There's no such thing as a kingdom without kings and princesses. In other words, there has to be a ruling class and there has to be a class of servitude, right? right? We were meant to be kings and priests and princesses on this earth. Right. However, through our disobedience, our father has punished us. Right. So to get back, to get out of punishment, what, what must we do? If, if your daughter is doing something wrong, right? And you punish her. What she got to do to start getting punished? She, exactly. She, that's a good word. Behave. We got to behave ourselves as a, as a race of people. Because we don't. We fornicate. We steal. We murder one another. Right? We, we sell drugs to one another. We, we own drugs, get high, drunk all the time. We, we are, as a race of people, that's what we're known for. That's what, that's what we are known for. But we are here to fix the communities, to teach them the laws of God. You understand what I'm saying? Get Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Because he said he's going to put us on high above all nations. That's because that's, where it was, that's how it was meant to be from the beginning. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. says we are a holy people you know holy actually means separate understand what i'm saying it actually means separate when you read in uh, leviticus we're not gonna get it leviticus uh 20 was it 25 44 read unto the lord thy god the lord thy god has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself so we are a special people we are peculiar we are different than everybody else because we're actually above read on above all people you know we they had a 400 year head start from us and yet we still managed to make just as many inventions if not more than they did we are we are a smarter people we are more we are spiritually connected more spiritually connected to the to the most high than any other race of people we're physically stronger than anybody else god says we are above above everyone else right give me uh proverbs 331 and then leviticus 13 you know what i want proverbs 331 so i'm going somewhere with this so remember, the requirement of us is to keep God's commandments. God says we will be above everybody else on the face of the earth. We are, we, are, we are meant to be above everybody else. We're smarter, stronger, so on and so forth, right? And with that, God told us this right here. Give me that, Proverbs 3.31. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Bring it out. Envy thou not the oppressor. That's what we see out here today. That's what we see out here today at the Greek festival, right? Because are we Greek? <laughs> That's the last, we, we, are, we are the polar opposite from Greek. But why are we out here celebrating Greekish fashions? It's because as a race of people, we don't understand our own heritage. We don't understand who we are, right? But that's what we do. We're showing our people that we are the Israelites. These are not our customs. Our customs, our, our, our high holy days is keeping tabernacles, right. Passover, Pentecost, so on and so forth. So God says, don't envy the oppressors, read. And choose none of his ways. Valentine's Day. Uh, 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 Christmas, Halloween, definitely. You know what I'm saying? None of these things we should be celebrating. We should be celebrating our own customs in the Bible. Give me uh, Leviticus 13. Leviticus 13. Uh, this is how as we envy our oppressors. Read what you got. This is Remember, sis, this is a law for us. Read. And this is not the bash. This is not the bash. But we just out here to fix the things that must be fixed, that must be pointed out. All right, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 29. Oh, yeah. If a man or a woman have a plague upon their head or the beard. Then the so right here is describing a plague, right? Read. A plague is something, it's simply put, is something unclean or improper. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Upon their head or the beard. Then the priest 
shall see the plague and behold, if it, if, if it be in sight deeper than the skin and there be in it a yellow thin hair. And what? A yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair. So you have yellow hair, right? Or blind, it's all the same thing, right? Yellow thin hair, blind, it's all the same thing. All, all come from the same thing, right? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So that is actually unclean according to the Bible. That's why the Bible says envy not our oppressors, right? Because that, where we, where we learn that from is the so-called white man. We learn blinding the hair, turning the hair different colors, so on and so forth. Our forefathers and foremothers never did that, right? So in repentance, you, you, have, to, you have to stop blinding your hair. You understand what I'm saying? Don't blind your eye, your daughter's hair, right? These are things that will bring our nation to a more... Uh, honored state. You understand what I'm saying, sis? All right, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Sorry, 2 Timothy 2. Yeah, yeah, give me that first. 1 Timothy 2. 1 Timothy 2 and 19. Okay. So this is another law. Remember, we're going over laws that will help our community, right? Whether it be small laws or big laws, all of these things will better our communities. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So this is a law for our women. It says that the women must adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the word modest actually means not attracting sexual attention. With that being said, don't we see a lot of our women dressing immodestly? What's portrayed on, the, on, on media whether, whether it be television, TV, uh, social media, so on and so forth, is what? Uh, women dressing immodest, especially of our race of people. Women dressing Im immodestly. And you know what that causes? It causes STDs. It causes single parent household. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the, not, not making an excuse for them because it's wicked, but the men who have a messed up mind, now they go for their lust. You understand what I'm saying? These are things that if we apply this law, it could greatly reduce the problems within our communities. Read it again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So sis, you must be adorned in modest apparel. So that being said, are, are, are leggings modest? Yeah. Leggings are not modest, sis. You, if, if we can see your curves, that's not modest. See what I'm saying? If you can see your sexual parts, then it is not modest. You see what I'm saying? So a woman must stop dressing with leggings because that, you know, leggings is actually an underwear. Like it's, it's actually an underwear. They were made to be underwear. That's why. That's why. That's why. Even even with men, when we have uh, like men, some men wear spandex and stuff, but it's meant to be worn under your clothes, right? It's not meant to just because if you wear spandex, it's literally just clothes sticking to your skin, like <laughs> the whole curve showing. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing but tightness. You see what I'm saying? So we must, you got to dress modestly, right? Uh, get do what I mean, chapter, matter of fact, my bad, I'm sorry. Read, finish that out. With shame faces and sobriety. It says with shame faces, and you know what shame faces mean? You know a lot of our women, they be in the men's face, da 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 you can't tell me, da 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 God says the woman is not supposed to be, at, be like that. That's not feminine for a woman to be all in a man's face, yelling in his face, talking about, talking about what, what she gonna do to him. See what I'm saying? That's it, that's not shame face. Read on. Not with braided hair. It says not with braided hair. That doesn't mean that we that the women can't wear uh, braided hair. That doesn't mean it's not supposed to be the focus. Because a lot of times within our communities, the focus of our women is what looking pretty. But that should not be the main focus within our within our women. All right, read. Or gold, or pearls, or costly array. So our focus should be. Godliness, you understand what I'm saying? And we're not gonna we we are not gonna get distracted by by by, by 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 things that are that are vain, right? Read read on, read, read finish reading that. We're not gonna get distracted. Verse ten, but which becometh woman profess, professing godliness with good work? So that should be the focus. That is the focus, right? Professing godliness, keeping the laws of God, showing the younger women how to be uh, wise mothers, so on and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? So all of these are things that can fix our communities. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. So part of our repentance is changing these things that we now know not to do. 
right? So we got, so in, in your case, it would be, you know what I'm saying, wear your natural hair, it's beautiful. Your natural hair is beautiful. Matter of fact, before we get this, we're gonna get Deuteronomy 22 and five as well. Get Daniel chapter seven and verse nine. Daniel chapter seven and verse nine. I'm gonna show you that the hair that you have is divine. It is godly, all right? Read what you got. Daniel chapter seven, verse nine. I beheld to the thrones were cast down and the Ancient of Days did sit. You know who the Ancient of Days is? It's God, the one who has no beginning of days, no ending of days, right? So Daniel saw a vision. He saw a vision of God, right, read. And whose garment was white as snow. So you know how they say God is a spirit? Well, you have a spirit too, right? But you have a body that encompasses or that covers that spirit. Right. Same way God has a body that covers it. That's why he had a garment. He had a, it wasn't no, uh, what do they call it, a tuga? You know the thing that uh, in Jesus movies where it's like a, a plain it's white. That's not, that's not what God had. He had a bad garment. Right, because right? we had a lot of times we have Christianity in our mind. He had a bad garment. It was, it was it was decked out. He had jewels all over that thing. Right, read. In the hair of his head. So this is the hair of God. Read. Like the pure wool. His hair is like what? The pure wool. The hair of the Most High God that created heaven and earth looked just like yours. Right. It looked just like yours, sis. So wear that thing natural. Wear. I'm not saying you can't braid it or nothing like that, but I'm saying don't put the blind in it, right? Because according to the scriptures, we're not supposed to do that, right? Wear it how God intended it to be worn. You see what I'm saying? Last one, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So here the topic is the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. So there should be no cross dressing. So that being said, what do men put on today that women should not? Oh, what do men put on today that they should not wear? Dresses, dresses. We see a lot of rappers wearing dresses these days. You know what? That's pushed again. It's pushed throughout the system to make sure that we stay in the messed up estate that we're in, right? So a man should not wear a dress. He should wear what? Pants. Okay, okay. So a man should not wear a dress. He should wear pants. So a woman should wear what? Oh, hold on. You said a, a man should not wear a dress. He should wear pants. A woman should not wear what? Pants. And a man, and, and she should put on what? See, simple, right? You go to any, you go to any country in the world. How do you differentiate? the male's bathroom from the female's bathroom. One got a dress, one got on pants. That, 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 that's a universal law, right? So read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. So God says the woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth to a man, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man should not wear what a, what a woman wear. According to the Bible, there's no cross dressing, none of that stuff, read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says if you're cross-dressing, you are an abomination. Women should not be wearing pants. Men should not be wearing dresses, all right? So in your repentance, wear that hair natural. God-given divine hair. You understand what I'm saying? Wear a modest dress, all right, sis? What is nature? Nation is men leading by example. Oh!